Welcome to the 150th edition of Make Pro Wrestling Majestic again. I am Tiger Height. And I am Peanut Gallery. And we're going to get right into the drama. There were three fairly big things, so let's rock and roll. First one, Cash Wheeler's uh, charges were officially dropped. Yes. Now, a lot of you morons have this weird misconception on what that means. Because you presumed that he was innocent of the charges. Number one, the people who were threatened were not going after cash. The state of Florida was. Right. And they gave no official reason. When the charges are dropped, it could be a myriad of things. Mm -hmm. Not enough evidence. The people decided not to bother with it. Maybe he is innocent of the charges um, that were levied against him. Or the state just doesn't care enough to justify going after him and trying to put all of this legwork in if it's not an open and shut. Right. Uh, because especially when it comes to the state, when they decide to uh, pursue charges, they want to make it as easy for themselves as yep. mentally possible. So putting in a lot of tax dollars, because that's where that's coming from, into something that may cost a lot of money for not a lot going on here, they're not going to care. Right. Now, if Cash killed somebody, that's a much different story. Yeah. You can put them in jail for a lot more time than just menacing with a gun. Right. Uh, to me personally, I think he did do it. I personally do believe he did do it. But the charges are dropped. If they want to pursue it, they can. I, I don't think they did it um, uh, pro quo or whatever. So yeah. they might be able to file charges again. But as of right now, he's in the clear. Kanosuke Takeshka, he has become my favorite wrestler in AEW because he is on a war path as it relates to backstage issues. Now, the one thing that I did not agree with him on was him circumventing the reason is discrimination mm -hmm. and the fact that the, w, the, the American audience does not want to see Japanese or Asian wrestlers and there's no representation so apparently he forgot Kazuchika Okada was a thing, or Asuka's a thing, well, or yeah. Kyrie Sane is a thing. Maybe they just don't have a plan for you because maybe you're not good. Right. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's not your fault. You just probably should have been somewhere where your skills could have been fostered in a much more controlled environment. You know, like New Japan. Or WWE, as an example. Uh, he really went after, oh, and the fans are apoplectic as it relates to this, too. They are just diminishing him left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a um, I saw a change.org petition. I think it was taken down because of how absolutely ridiculous it was that Kanosuke should be removed from the John Moxley World Title Eliminator match because of his little war path. Uh, but that was quickly taken down. I couldn't find the link anymore. Uh, but it was awesome. I recommend going out there because he's because this is also ongoing. Yeah, this is not just like a one and done. I think over the last couple of days, it's just one thing after another after another. The guy is miserable in America as it relates to wrestling. He literally said that the love and the fun of wrestling is gone. Is gone for him. That's crazy. Yeah, you have to be a shitty company to zap somebody's love for this industry out of them yeah. that quickly. Yeah, seriously. Oh my God. It's incredible. And finally, controversy. Tiffany Stratton. Yay, Tiffany Stratton doing things. Did you see the video? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I will give you a brief overview. Okay. Uh, this was a video of a live show that mm -hmm. she posted on Instagram. Okay. And... It was muted as it relates to the original audio, but it was her hitting Jade with a forearm, and it was a meme saying, black bitch. Ah. Now, I'm going to do a pop quiz here. Hang on. Okay. Is Jade Cargill black? Yes. Is Jade Cargill a badass bitch? Yes. When you deduce those two things together, what does that make Jade Cargill? A black bitch. Hello? <laughs> 
there was nothing wrong with the there was nothing wrong with the video. It's not like she said, "Oh, she's a dumb black bitch or she doesn't deserve to be here or whatever." That was it. Right. But luckily WWE Luckily, luckily um uh uh, sound minds prevailed in this situation. Yes, it, people were pissed off for all of eight seconds, mm -hmm. and it was gone. Right. So I just wanted to bring it up because it was so stupid, and I'm so glad that WWE is like, how the hell was this racist? Right. You're fine. And then she went out there and had an awesome match with Bianca Belair. And we, you, you knew that she was going to lose anyway, so yeah, there we go. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. It was fine. You know, she's going to be fine. Um, I think her gear needs to be changed up because apparently her cooch spilled out like a fa like a faucet during the match. I didn't see it. I rewound a couple of times, but I didn't see it. So <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just joking. Well, what I'm just we joking. all know is Tiffy time. Yes. So uh, that's just kind of where we are um, as it relates to drama. Not a, like I said, not a whole lot, but a couple of things to point out. Uh, I will keep an eye on the Kenosuke issue. And yes, I did notice a bunch of. Twitter accounts as it relates to wrestling being exposed for being creepy against other users on there. And even though I have made my fair share of mistakes, trust me, we're all squared away here. So Tiger Height ain't going fucking away anytime soon. Peanut Gallery, I'm going to presume you aren't being weird with other users on no. Twitter. Okay, perfect. So there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm just producing high-quality articles in AI. And you should check that out. Link is in the description now. We're going to go into some news. Yes. We'll be right back.